Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. I'm Steven Silver, character designer and teacher, dedicated to helping you learn about the art industry and living up to your potential. Whippee! All right, so today I wanted to talk about artist wages, a uh, very important subject, and especially right now, something that's happening within the union. It's the local 839 union, which out here in Los Angeles, we have that represents just the animation studios. Uh, not all of them, but uh, it's something where, for, you know, we talk about Warner Brothers, Disney, Cartoon Network, or, you know, all the, all the big boys kind of are unionized. And what that does for the artists, it just gives them at least a minimum wage. So when you go onto the union and you're working at a union shop doing whether you're character design, storyboards, you know, whatever you may be doing within the uh, industry, that you're, you're part of the union. So the, the benefits really that I've always uh, really appreciated from the union are the health benefits that you get. And also at the end of the day, you're putting money towards um, a, a pension if you're vested in the union for enough years to when you retire, that you're gonna be at least get some money right that you're gonna and also medical so when you turn 65 it may even be just a little bit older now that if you're not working in the union at a studio but you've made you've earned enough hours from work and getting those union hours that you get your health benefits for the rest of your life so it's it's a pretty good thing okay and what's happening there's actually a show right now which is very popular it's in its sixth season which is bojack horseman and what's happening with this show is uh, it's a Netflix uh, show that's be being put on Netflix that's being created by, um, I can't remember, the, I think Shadow Machine and also a Michael Eisner uh, company. And But there's many other shows that are on Netflix, which are Netflix, it's union, right? So I think they have over 50 shows that are currently on there that artists are enjoying the benefits of having the union benefits, which is giving them at least a minimum basis. So let's just say, I'm just going to throw this number out there, but let's, and this is low, but let's just say it's a thousand dollars a week. Okay. For, for your job, which in all retrospect, I know some of you guys in other countries are going, what's a thousand bucks a week. You know, it's actually higher than that. But so these guys are getting paid that are working on this popular show they're getting paid less because it's a non-union studio and they're not getting th those benefits. So they may be working on a on a, on that show and they're making they could be making anywhere between four hundred to seven hundred dollars less a week. Okay, based on for someone else who's working on a union show and they're doing the exact same job. So the idea is to try to unionize. Uh, this studio and give fair wages. And the thing is, if we don't start, if we don't speak up, if we don't talk about this, then what happens is there's never going to be change. And this has always been my position that if you don't say anything and actively do something or like I'm doing right now, just trying to spread some word or news about it, but doing something effective, well, nothing changes. There's as many of the many years I worked in-house at the studios, there was a lot of bitching and moaning and complaining about certain things going on, but people didn't speak up and they didn't say anything and nothing changed. And so you can't expect any change if you're not gonna have a position about it. So I, I think you know what these guys on Bojack Horseman are doing, they're 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 unified. These guys are coming together and they did like a a little bit of a walkout. They're 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 speaking their mind. They're trying to get stuff out there. And I say good for you guys for being out there and speaking up and saying stuff because that's when you let the producers and other people know that listen, we need to start budgeting more for to start paying the artists more. And it's not just money that'll go to a producer if they come under budget. And that's always been an irritative aspect for me where if, uh, if a production goes under budget, which means just getting the artists to work more, hey, we're, we're bringing this down. We're not gonna work, you know, we can cut this 
uh, by you working more hours, us meeting the production deadline, and they get rewarded for that, yet the, the artists get screwed. And, and I've never really appreciated that part of the system, and, and it's just wrong because we know that what the most beneficial aspect, what is the most important aspect of even making a show work? Is it, is it the company that uh, hires these artists, okay? Or is it the producers that are running the show? No, it's the artists. Because I don't care what studio you are, without the artists, you got nothing. There's nothing. I, I don't care how you lay it out there. Without the artists, there is no product. There is no merchandise. There is nothing. And we are the most important aspect of the whole production process. And if you're going to, and why not? Why not make your artists happy? Why not? You're in your sixth season on this BoJack Horseman. You're in your sixth season of a successful show. And these guys have been trying to get unionized, I think, from season one. And I think it's an important thing and it sets a precedent. Because when you get these companies that are so big and do reap the rewards through uh, merchandise and everything else that they do... Well, why not just, why can't it be a win-win situation? And that's all you need to look at is let's make this fair. Let's have a win-win situation. Let's, you know, you rub my back, I'll rub yours. And the importance of making sure that something like this becomes union, part of the, the union, the local 839, to where artists are being treated fairly. I mean, they're working enough hours. They work hard as it is. You know, and can you imagine having to go in every day knowing that you're sitting across from someone on another production who's doing the exact same job as you and getting, getting $500 more a week? That's a big deal. And even I know there's studios out in Canada and other places and uh, they're, they're not making as much as the, the artists that are making out here and the cost of living can be high, but just... Again, we have to have that win-win situation. We can only do this by speaking up and charging what is fair. And it comes down to just making sure for yourself that you don't get yourself involved in these situations where even on a freelance basis and everything else where you're charging practically nothing because what you're doing is hurting the industry as a whole and, and you don't want to do that. So it's these artists who are brave enough that stand up, they speak out, they say something in order to create change are not just doing it for themselves, but they're doing it for the future generations to come. And that's why these milestones are really big and really important. I'm actually going to put a link down in this uh, below here just so that you guys can uh, just sign a petition. You can be active and just put your name and show your support for the Union Studio, for this Bo BoJack Horseman crew. And again, it's not just, well, why should I help them? Or well, it's not me. Don't, don't have that mentality that it's not you. It's like you're, you're setting precedent and you're helping make change for everything from this point on. Because if people start going, hey, you know what? We don't really need to have a Union Studio. We don't need to give these guys benefits. We don't need to do all this then what it does, then more people will start saying, hey, you know what? They got away with it. We can get away with it. Or new studios that are going to be popping up and showing up, new production companies. And don't think for a minute that new production companies aren't going to be coming and popping up. There's a lot of talented people out there. There's a lot of room for it. There's a lot of demand for content that is going to be for a long time from now. Uh, with all the major players coming in. And we don't know what companies are going to be formed in the future. But I guarantee you... If we don't start just setting it up and saying, hey, listen, we got all these other places, all these other people are paying fair wages, so can you. You guys can just increase the budget and maybe, you know, where these studios can come to a Netflix and a Hulu and an Amazon and an Apple and all these companies can go to them and say, listen, we're, we're a union studio and we need to pay the fair wages. So we need a higher, bigger budget from you guys in order to pay those wages. And that's going to be a big deal. So make sure that you're, you're, you're being, uh, support this and that you even understand it. Read some articles about it. You can go to also the, the local 839 union website. I think it's maybe local839.org, but don't quote me on that. Just if you type in, go to Google, type in local, 
uh, Animation Guild Local 839. You're going to find their website. They're vantage to that too. Not only do you get some good insight and information, but also there's a wage survey. Every year we are sent out just a wage survey that tells us what we're, that artists will anonymously say how much they're earning as a prop designer, character designer, storyboard. So at least you have a basis and you know what to kind of look for when you're getting into this industry and looking for a job so that you don't get screwed. Again, don't set that precedent. You don't want to be screwed. This is your livelihood. This is what you want to do. You want to make a living at this. This is, you're helping these guys grow. You're lining their pockets, okay? And, but because of your talent because of your ability and so you should be treated fairly for that so it's something that I really truly believe in it's so important just to value what it is that you do and know that this is you know you guys have your your loans your student loans you guys have careers that you're looking to get into some of you guys are married and have families some of you guys don't right now don't wait till you're married and have a family and go oh my god I'm not making any money how am I gonna make a living doing this because you, even as you're doing this, you want to be able to make enough money to not just be paying for bills all the time, but to be able to save. You got to be in a position where at least you're putting some of your money, not only into a 401k plan or uh, plan, some form of pension, but that you're also saving money. You got to think about your future. You got to start putting those little bits of money away. It's going to benefit you. Trust me, you're, you're, the, these, these days are going to go by so quick. These years are going to pass where the last thing you want to do is be in a situation where you're just constantly feeling broke because you haven't even saved or didn't even have enough money to save. Again, it's, a, it's an honor and it's a privilege to be working for these companies. And I appreciate every single one of these companies who give artists the potential and the possibility for us to do what we want to do in our lives. And within the last 20, 30 years, or maybe, yeah, it's just been, you know, there's been a boom. There never used to be all these jobs for artists that there were. You had to work in publishing and advertising, graphic design, and these other areas, you know, where now animation has opened up such a huge world, but oftentimes it's the bastard stepchild. It's just like people have, don't, they don't think about it. You know, they don't, they, there's oftentimes no mention of it. It's all about the, the higher echelon, the higher people. And they look at artists as artists are a dime a dozen. And hey, if, if, if it's not you, we'll get someone else. But the reality is, it's not that way. There's the, it, as crazy as it is, as as many artists others as there are in this world. I tell you, there is still such a lack of real talent. Okay, that of the top echelon of skill, where people have trouble trying to find the right ca character designers, prop designers, um, the uh, storyboard artists, especially. You know, I I can't even tell you how many directors have trouble really staffing up really good storyboard artists. And a lot of the time, it's just a lack of knowledge. It's a lack of draftsmanship. It's a lack of that skill set where there is a demand for you and you are required and you are needed. So don't think that, well, little old me, I'm just going to take this job and get paid a couple hundred dollars a week. How are you going to make a living on that? Why would you do that? Why would you even want to work that many hours, which you're going to be required to do a lot of times for such little pay? And the other thing that happens, I mean, this is going on in the gaming industry too, where people are just overworked, underpaid, not unionized, people getting screwed um, in this whole union aspect. So the more we can do to start to engage and just show your support, and when you see something, really, you just got to share it on social media, do whatever you can, any little bit. It's like, don't think that, well, I don't have a voice. It's like, that little message, my little message to you, I hope that you share this video. I hope that even that's a part that you can partake in that, hey, I'm not going to speak up about it. This guy did. Maybe I'll just share that. And don't be afraid, you know, because again, if you're so afraid to do anything, again, is is it fair that, that you're going to let other people uh, sacrifice their jobs, blood, sweat and tears because you don't want to speak up. You don't want to say anything. So it's really a time right now. Bojack Horseman needs your help. 
help these guys just get this unionized because it's going to set the precedent. You know, there's already over 50 shows on Netflix, which is awesome. Thank you, Netflix, for, you know, doing what you're doing and let it be this example that Hulu, Apple, all these other places are going to say, hey, we need to do this too because we respect what you guys do. You guys as artists are not only providing you know, jobs for all the people who can't draw, for all the management, all the, you know, accounting people, all the business people, everyone, but all the marketing people, all the, you know, thousands and thousands of jobs are being created in licensing and everything else because of the work that you guys are doing on every single show that becomes successful and a hit. Thousands of jobs. So why are the artists treated so poorly? Why not at least give that artist the ability to feel comfortable and good about what it is that they're doing for, for these shows? So can you imagine going into work every day, just being like, God dang it, man, just fuck. This is just, this sucks, you know, and just, you're not even going to do your best. Don't you want your artist to do your best? Isn't that, don't, again, the win-win situation? Isn't that something worthwhile? Just knowing that you've made this artist happy who's given you a job. The reason you even have the job is because of these artists. It doesn't, isn't that going to do everyone just make everything just so much better? Just think about it. So I'm doing my part, whatever I can. Again, I believe in value. I believe that artists have been screwed for way too long, getting taken advantage of for way too many years. And if we keep letting this happen all the time, it's just going to keep just uh, rearing its ugly head. So you can just make a change, do something, be supportive, show your support. Uh, give, you know, sign on your name, just this petition. Let's just get this out there. Let's just hit them hard, share it everywhere. Let's get this, this uh, petition just all of a sudden, let them see hundreds of new people just signing on and showing their support and wondering where the hell did this come from? Okay, let's just, let's just do something here. I hope you guys will support me um, in helping this, uh, big picture. And again, through that, you're supporting yourself, you're supporting the industry, and hopefully we can make change in these other countries too. It's not just America because we need it to happen in other places. We need this to happen in Canada. We need this to happen in other countries, in Europe and Brazil and Germany and England and wherever we can, just to give these artists these living wages because you're such a foundation, you're such a support, you make things happen, you make things beautiful, you, you change the world when, when we create this entertainment, you know, people can be so uh, burnt out with everyday regular life stuff, but entertainment is what makes the industry go around, and even in a recession, even in de depression, what is the most popular thing? Entertainment, through movies, cartoons, everything else, we make the people happy. We put a smile on their face uh, and just be a part of it, partake in it, and I hope you will. Thanks for watching, and please, please share. Thanks for sharing. Take it easy. To subscribe to my mailing list and stay updated on future workshops and events, please go to my contact at silvertoons.com and simply hit join mailing list. Until the next time, make it a great week, and thank you for listening.